disclaimer, okay? Don't be discouraged by this. But if you have a K55 Corsair keyboard, okay? I forgot to mention this later in the video. You need an older version of the software, okay? That'll be linked down in the description, okay? You can download that. You're going to need that version for you to get the visor light setting, okay? You need to download this if you have a K55. I'm not sure about the other keyboards, but I know with a K55 you need to have this to get the visor lighting. Okay, on with the video. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you um, how to have uh, police lighting, per se, with your uh, Corsair keyboard and your mouse. Um, currently I have the Corsair K55 and uh, Harpoon Gaming Mouse, as you can see. Um, and Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get police lighting to work with uh, 5M, I guess you could say in a way, and now it could work with other stuff. Um, it's just a simple uh, keybind thing and all that. Um, now, currently, uh, I'm running uh, an older version. Um, I'm running the 3.1.133 uh, version because uh, this keyboard does not uh, support what's called uh, Lighting Link. And what Lighting Link does is it makes it where the um, lighting from your keyboard and your mouse are matched. Now, the reason why I wanted this was because of the fact that um, it, I'll show you uh, under Lighting Effects, uh, there is a section um, for uh, Visor. Now, that's going to be the one you're going to want. Now, um, this is considered a Lighting Link. Um, so yeah, um, right now currently I have Rainbow Wave turned on, um, just because I don't, it's pretty neutral, I don't care, um, what it is by default. Um, and I'll be putting up a video on screen now, uh, of what it looks like, um, and as you can see it looks pretty cool. Um, so I have it set up for Q, because Q is the lighting, um, start on, uh, on the server I play on, TXT PSRP. Um, and you can see it turns on the lights in game. It also activates the keyboard lighting. Um, uh, so I will be showing you how to do that in just a second here. Hey guys, so um, we're gonna get right into it. So what you're gonna do? This is this part is more of um, I'm not sure what your keybind is going to be for your particular server, um, but in the case of TXT PSRP, this is going to be more for the people of TXT PSRP. Um, but the, the way you're going to do is you're going to go to the settings. Um, they're just renamed for me. Um, but you're just going to go to your normal GTA settings. Uh, Keybinds, you're going to hit enter. Okay. And um, so the um, for our server, Q, the letter Q is going to be the uh, light activate button okay and I don't know what it's gonna be for your server uh, or what it you know but I was able to figure out that so if you go to vehicle general for our, our server um, it's gonna be the radio wheel key now I set the secondary key as the minus button on the numpad um, so that is going to be uh, here I'll show you um, that's going to be this button right here, okay? And so what you're going to do is you're going to set it to that, or just any other key that you don't use, um, okay? So now that key will act as the light activate button, a uh, secondary key for the light activate button, okay? Okay, if you're still following with me here, okay? So what you're going to do is now you're going to go, um, and you're going to go into your uh, profile section of your Corsair software, your Corsair IQ software. Now, I have two different profiles, and I, I named mine 5M Normal, which is just normal lighting. Okay. And this is when you want the Q key to activate, to act as your um, keyboard turn on lighting and your uh, um, in game turning on the lights, right? Okay. And then I have a normal preset. Okay, this normal preset makes it where when I press the Q key, 
the Q key does not activate lights because of the way that we have it set up I'll show you um, this deactivates that so now the Q key will just act as a normal key okay so now you're gonna go into you're gonna make a profile okay now I'm not gonna remake mine but you're gonna create a profile now you can just name it the same thing I named mine 5 m normal and police lighting you're gonna want two of them okay maybe three okay okay and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your 5 m normal okay and you're going to go down to uh, lighting effects okay and you're gonna set it to whatever you want as your just default lighting for your keyboard what your whatever you want it to stay as when you don't have your lights on okay then what you're gonna do is and you can do the same for your mouse okay and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into actions okay and I didn't label these but here um, just for just for understanding here uh, keyboard uh, lights active okay and so basically what this is saying is this is the key this is what we have set to as nothing okay this is going to be a action this is currently a profile switching one okay and so what you're going to do so you hit go down here profile switching okay and what you want to do is you're going to set switching mode to direct uh, direct you'll have it as uh, one of these other ones but you want to switch it to direct profile selection okay and your second profile which is called police lighting you're going to select that profile okay now um, you don't I don't think yet yeah, so there's nothing else here okay now what you're going to do is you're going to have a these are just some other macros that I had okay this one I'm just going to name this now you can name these whatever you want just say so you know what they are but this one I'm going to name uh, in game light active okay so this is going to be for the in game lights okay so you remember back then in game we set our settings to remember we went in here go to TXTPSR settings, right, or whatever settings you have, right, and then you go to key binds, okay, and remember we set our vehicle general, okay, radio wheel, we set a secondary as, for me, numpad minus, okay, or to whatever uh, unused key you have, right, okay, so we're going to switch back to the Corsair software. Now, in this box, the text box, right, you're going to want to type just that, just that key, okay, okay and then we're going to go into your advanced settings okay and you're going to say uh, I don't know what this retain original key but I had the checked I don't know if you need that okay if it doesn't work then I guess try that but you want to say second action to your profile switching action which I named keyboard lights active okay so that's going to control the keyboard lighting to switch it to the profile that has the keyboard lighting. Okay, and you want to take in-game lights active or whatever you named it to the text file, and you're going to take that. And when this is selected, you're going to click on the Q key on your keyboard. Okay, or whatever the light lights the in-game lights activate button is right. Okay, and so. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your police lighting and you'll see this flickers back and forth like police lights. It's pretty cool, right? Now you're going to go down to your lighting effects and to get the police lighting, you're going to select visor under lighting link, okay? And you're going to hit alternating. And for me, it was defaulted to red and blue, okay? Now if it's not, then set it to the red and blue, okay? And now what you're going to do is you're going to set it to medium speed. I found that looks the best. Um, fast is a little bit uh, seizure inducing. It's a little bit too fast. Um, and slow is uh, too slow for my liking. Um, you can set it how you want it. 
Okay, and this will also transfer over to the mouse. You'll see the mouse is also doing it. Okay, because it's lighting link mode. Okay, and um, and then you're gonna go to you're in, a, in your police link section. You're gonna want to text. Okay, and this one we're gonna name. Uh, also, we're gonna name this one in-game lights active. Okay. Now, in game lights active. This is this is the same. It's a duplicate of the of the previous one we had. Okay. And now this is another profile switcher. Okay. This profile switcher you want to select as your your 5M normal. Okay. So that it'll switch when you press Q again to to disable the lights. It will switch it back to the normal lighting. Okay. And it'll also turn off your in game lights. Okay. And this all looks good, okay? Yet again, direct profile selection, and then you select 5M normal, okay? And so we're going to go back up to here. Like I said, this is identical, so you're going to have the minus key or whatever you had as your secondary key. And then you're going to go into advanced settings, and you're going to uh, select uh, second action as your profile switching, okay? And then um, it should be working okay so what you're going to do is like I said you're also going to want a normal one that you can swap to um, which is just identical to your 5M normal just without any actions right so basically what this means is because uh, here I'll demonstrate for you um, if you if I were to um, here I'll demonstrate here if I were to press that Q key now remember it's pressing the minus key so if I were to press that it's going to uh, in this case since I'm on the normal profile it just presses Q but if I were to be on the 5M normal profile what's going to happen is every time you press Q yes it will activate the keyboard lighting but then it's going to get annoying because uh, it's also going to be every time you press Q when you're like typing sentences sentences um, when you press Q it's going to put a minus after that which you do not want um, so that's why you're going to want a normal profile that you can switch it to when you don't want the lighting okay um, and then this one is just something else I had um, but the that is which is not related um, and so um, basically, this should be the gist of everything. Okay, so now uh, when you go into the game, you should be able to get into your vehicle, and you should be able to press Q, and the lighting should activate on your keyboard and your mouse, and it should also have lighting in game. Okay, and if you have any issues, um, you can message me on Discord. My Discord will be linked in the description. Um, if you have any questions, uh, and I can I can try and help you out with that, um, or you can drop a comment down below. Uh, hopefully, you shouldn't have any issues if you follow it the, uh, the way I showed you. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, um, and it was very helpful to you, and you find it interesting and cool. Because um, I currently had not found any videos on YouTube showing how to do this, uh, so I had to figure it out on my own. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, like I said, uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, feel free to hit the, the uh, dislike button. Um, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll try to be posting more content um, of me playing on TXT PSRP. Uh, and that's going to be it for the video. Um, see you in the uh, the next 5M video. That's going to be it.